Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ari. I'm a Taurus Sun, Cancer Rising, Aquarius Moon, and a Life Path number seven. If you're not new here, thank you for watching another video of mine and choosing to support me further. It does mean a lot to me. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe before you do leave this video, especially if you're able to relate or connect with this reading. So today everyone, I am here with a channel messages reading from your person for all of my Aries who are watching. So if you have Aries as your sun, moon, rising, Venus, or anywhere in your chart, then this reading might resonate or apply to you. Your person Aries is whoever is currently on your mind right now. You two may be in separation and communication at a distance from one another. Just whoever in your heart is your person, that's your person, and you'll know. Before I do go ahead and get into your reading, Aries, please keep in mind that this is a general reading for the sign of Aries, so it may not resonate or relate to you specifically, and if it does not, please don't take it personally. All right, Aries, so let's go ahead and get into your reading. Let's check in on what energy that we do have coming towards you in regards to love. We'll also get some specific messages regarding your connection overall. Can we please get a few specific messages for Aries? Who's this person? Okay, Aries, so we have this card and then we also have another card that came out. Let's go ahead and get a few more messages for Aries, please, regarding this person that they're dealing with currently. How does this person truly feel about Aries and their connection? And what's on this person's mind when it comes to Aries? Anything else that Aries needs to know for now regarding the energy that we do have? Let's go ahead and get a few more cards for Aries, please. We have another card. And let's go ahead and get one more card for now, please. All right, Aries, so we do have our first few cards here. Before I do show them and get into them, please keep in mind that any energy, feelings, emotions, actions that I'm describing from your person, that could be how you feel. The roles could be reversed as however this reading resonates for you. Please only take what resonates out of this reading. All right, Aries, so first card that came out, I see your beauty, I care more about your mind. We also have, if going back was an option, I would. I need reassurance so I know this is worth my time. I can see myself loving you so hard, it's scary. Life got better for me when you came in. And we also have, I like how you're honest. You are true to yourself and don't change for anyone. You've got my respect. So Aries, um, I feel like this is a person that you had intentions of putting your all into. Um, and as far as maybe just like getting to know this person, how they looked, their qualities, like what you took in from this person, they maybe felt like they were the one for you or just putting all of your efforts and your energy into this person because you wanted it to work and Aries are the first of the zodiac they go after what they want and they're confident in doing so and they don't hold back so I feel like that's that was your energy towards this person um but I feel like for you Aries maybe you feel as though if you two are in separation or something did come in between one another or you felt like you couldn't put your all of your trust into it because of whatever reason i feel like maybe you aries you felt like you should have withheld some of what you were doing for this person especially if you were putting your love into this person not holding back at all because you had it in your mind that you two were going to be something more, but somehow it, it did not follow through how you wanted it to. You don't have to be in separation from this person, Aries, but maybe you two are just distant from one another, 
or their actions and their efforts have told you told back a bit to not give your all so much to to let them take initiative for them to take action so and I feel like you Aries maybe you still think about what could be maybe it's not over yet but it's you Aries knowing that this person could make you happy or they make you happy and wanting it to just last maybe there's just something about reassurance we do have I need reassurance so I know this is worth my time so perhaps this person isn't letting you know consistently that they're there for you or that they care about you just as much as you care about them I also feel like this is maybe a reason why you've pulled some of your energy away from this person also with I can see myself loving you so hard it's scary knowing the love that you have to give maybe this person has only seen a fraction of it but gauging what efforts what energy you put into this connection because you don't want to get yourself hurt maybe the love is already at that point Aries and this is the time where you've decided for yourself to maybe just have this person step in to have them take initiative we have life got better for me when you came in i feel like this might be a mutual energy here aries and of course we'll know more with the cards next to come but i feel like from your side it's like this person really made you happy they gave you something to look forward to also not doubting this connection in the first place I also feel like this is how your person felt about you, Aries, just the presence, the energy that you bring, just being able to see who you are and you not holding that back, knowing that they've got a good person for them or on their side. We have, I see your beauty, I care more about your mind. I do feel like this might be your energy, Aries, like looks can't impress you 100%, like you're looking for something more more deep something real something not so much superficial like although you two might look good together there's way more to that like it's the quality of a person's character as well also I feel like for you Aries you are not about to settle for less in the way that you two look good on the outside together but if there are some core elements that are not met within this connection you're not about to stick around with it I like how you're honest, you are true to yourself and don't change for anyone. You've got my respect. I do feel like this is how your person feels about you, Aries. This is Aries energy, not holding back, abiding by who they are, what they want to do, being honest in all situations, not just going with the flow because you're hoping to seek some sort of false security or also just temporary security so maybe you've you've even sorry you've even told this person like what's working for you what's not and this person appreciated it because you're you're not settling for less you're putting out there what you deserve so and maybe this person was also just hoping that they could move around in this connection without any real confrontation happening but this person does feel like you're authentic, you're original. You do you, Aries, you do what's for you. And then we have, if going back was an option, I would. I do feel like this might be your person's energy, Aries. Could be a mutual energy, but from your person, maybe um, they wanna come back in and try and show you better, but they also know maybe their efforts have really damaged what has become of this connection could be your energy Aries in the way that you wish that you did not put all of your love out there if you felt like this person just took it without reciprocating or being appreciative of it but let's go ahead and get a few more specific messages for Aries please what other energy is coming towards Aries in regards to love Okay, we have these two cards, Aries. Let's go ahead and get a few more specific messages, please, for Aries. 
Okay, we have another card that came out that I'll pick up. What else does Aries need to know about this person? Let's just go ahead and get one more specific message. All right, Aries, so we do have those last few cards. Let's see what we have. All right, Aries, so we have, it feels like you saved me at my worst. I'm walking away, leaving what's behind us in the past. Things don't have to be weird between us. We have, let's rebuild our definitions of love. And then we also have, remember how you got me, maintain that. So Aries, um, with the rest of the energy we have, it, it kind of comes across that maybe this person did not really take this as seriously the first time around, or they, they appreciated you, Aries, and what you were showing them, but like they didn't think about you also in the moment, like just not being ready for this connection, but also seeing how good and feeling how good it makes them feel, how good you make them feel. We have, it feels like you saved me at my worst. I feel like this might be your person's energy. Just you, Aries, coming into their life and things being better. But meanwhile, maybe you were the one keeping this connection lifted and they, they just went off of that. They didn't show as much effort to add on to that. Things don't have to be weird between us. I, I feel like this might be an overall energy, Aries. If this energy does sound familiar to you, I, I feel like you, if this person is not showing you that they care or it seems like that, you're being distant, but then again, they might still be connected to you. You two might still communicate here and there, but you don't go out of your way as much, Aries. It's like... This person needs to let me know how they feel about me. So just this like sort of tension in this connection, but it doesn't have to be that way. Like this card says, I need reassurance. So I know this is worth my time. Maybe if this person just gave you that bit of reassurance, then an effort as well, then things would start to change. We have, remember how you got me, maintain that. I feel like this is your energy, Aries. This person maybe did things different beforehand before you started to really take over. And it's like this person, like I feel like you, Aries, you wouldn't be knowing this person if this energy has always remained this way or stayed this way. So it's like maybe they went out of their way or even remembered the small things to let you know that they're interested so it's like you want you want that to happen again but you can't push or force anyone to do that and then it's also like if a person wanted to they would so not settling for less Aries and then we also have let's rebuild our definitions of love there might be a chance for a a new start or a fresh start with this person but I feel like it would have to be understood from your from your feelings Aries like and this person coming forward to reassure you tell you what you want to hear but it also has to come from the heart so let's both put in our our effort this time not just 50 50 but Maybe it could start at 50-50 and eventually lead to 100%, 100% from both sides, but just the smallest things matter. So this person, wanting this person to really hear you out and make the appropriate changes if you are wanting this to continue on. For some of my Aries out there, I feel like this is all you need to see from this person and you're moving forward. We have them walking away, leaving what's behind us in the past. But even if you want to reconcile with this person, Aries, with the let's rebuild our definitions of love, maybe you're just leaving the past in the past if this person vowed to be different to you or show you different. 
But let's see what sign you might be dealing with Aries. Can we please get a sign for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? Aries came out. Let's get another sign for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. We have Leo. What sign might be relevant to Aries? Sagittarius. So we have some fire energy. Virgo. We'll get one more sign for Aries, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Okay, Taurus. All right, Aries, I'm going to go ahead and leave it at that for today. As always, I appreciate the love and support. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will talk to you next time. Bye.